Mr. Mario, you are leading this parade tomorrow. All eyes will be on you. Uh-oh. Have you perfected a weight? Well, I'm not a beauty pageant uh, <laughs> winner or anything. I'm excited. Every time I come to Tampa, I have a great time. The people are really nice. And uh, it's such a great city with a cool history, good food, good place to uh, uh, hang out and visit. And the weather's always uh, great, of course. But uh, I love the, uh, uh, the history behind the parade and everybody's embraced the whole pirate theme. And, you know, I've said all this week I'm going to be Mario Lopez. So. <laughs> oh, she likes that one. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm getting. I'm gonna get into the spirit. I need a patch. I got a little. Uh, I got a little. What is this called? Beads. A bead. The beads. I need a patch. Sword. I'll be ready to go. <laughs> now, can you pinpoint one thing? Why did you agree to do this again? You did it back in 2015. What brought you back to this role? Well, like I said, I've always had a good time when I've come to Tampa, and this is an important market for my uh, my TV show and my radio show, um, both extra and on with Mario. So any opportunity to get a chance to come and visit and do some stuff with our local affiliate and, and uh, support uh, big events that the station uh, gets behind. Um, you know, if I'm able to do it, I like to, to take advantage of it. Uh, plus, I happen to be in the Florida area, so it worked out. And you just said it. It's a big event, perhaps the most popular party here in Tampa. Yeah. How does it make you feel that the community chose you to be the Grand Line? Well, I'm honored and I'm flattered that they, that they chose me. I've, um, I've always uh, uh, not only had a good time, but uh, really connected with the people here. In the community, and it's it's uh, uh, it's got a lot of a lot of different flavors and, and uh, a melting pot. So whether it's the Latin community or, or the the locals uh, here that have been here for many generations, um, you know I feel uh, I can get along with all of them uh, really well. So it's uh, my kind of town. And you're familiar with the town. What do you have to do when you come to Tampa? Is there a spot you go, a restaurant, someone that you see? Coincidentally, I do have some friends that that, that do live here, uh, both in Tampa and Clearwater nearby. Um, I mean, you know, as long as I'm kind of hanging out with them, there's a lot of great places to eat, which I'm trying to eat my way through Tampa <laughs> while I'm here and doing a good job and, and, and drinking my way as well. So that's, uh, uh, God, I was so full this I woke up full from where I ate last night. Um, where were we eating last night? Where were those guys? Oh, Ocean Prime. We ate there last night. Oh, that place was good. Yeah. You like that one? That one's good. I think we're going to the state, some steakhouse, Burns or something tonight. Oh, that Burns is great too. A lot of good wine. So those are all the classic spots. You know, the one here, the spot here at the Hard Rock, too, that uh, Council Loke, thank you. That was a great spot too. Yeah, exactly. So those three, uh, uh, I think I'm getting real spoiled for those dinners. So you are well known in general, but especially here to the Tampa Bay area. <clears throat> what is your message to people tomorrow? Because like I said, all eyes will be on you when you open this parade. You're the lead. Message? Well, it's not a political campaign, but uh, you know, everyone to have a good, oh, well, everybody just to have a good time, celebrate the city and all that it has to offer. I love that it's sort of a family event. There's not necessarily a, um, a religious aspect like there is in Mardi Gras, but, it, but the way they're able to honor the city and the community comes together is cool to see. You know, and it seems like it's getting bigger every year. So um, again, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Expectations, goals, because beads are the goal. To not get hit, not get hit with the beads. I gotta get, you know, they not get, they get too little aggressive with the beads, so. Hopefully catch, uh, catch them, throw them out, and uh, make sure everyone's safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me, do you have your costume planned out? You're dressing the part, right? Or is there a costume? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go full theme, but uh, I wasn't aware of that. If I get a, like I said, a patch and a and a sword and a hat or a fake fake sword, then you know, I'll be good to go. I think. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Anything else that you think we should know ahead of this? Uh. No, I'm just look, looking forward to, to being out there at the parade and, and uh, hopefully I get to meet a lot of people, take some pics, and, and uh, you know, we all, we all have a good time. And, and thank you for watching uh, my show and hopefully listening to my radio show. So, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. You want to look here and give them your art? Arrgh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah.